Hello friends, today we're going to be jumping right back into our Slime Fun tutorial series with an episode on the latest update. Today we're going to be looking at the new permanent talisman, the Talisman of the Wise. But before we begin, I just want to thank all of you who have subscribed. Every time someone does, YouTube gives me a notification about it and it just makes my day. So if you could please consider checking to see if you're subscribed, it would mean the world to me. It's completely free, it only takes two seconds, and if you want to unsubscribe later, it's totally okay. Thank you all so much for helping me change my life one sub at a time. Alright, so the Talisman of the Wise is a new addition to Slime Fun. It's a permanent talisman with an Ender variant like all others that gives a 20% chance to double any instance of XP drops. Or... So the description says. But that's not quite what's happening. What the talisman actually does is it gives a 20% chance to double the value of any XP orb picked up. This is a huge difference as one, that this means that the talisman won't affect XP drops that you don't pick up, for example from mobs you kill and other players pick up, and more notably, this means that the effect truly applies to every instance of XP in the game. That means that the talisman essentially gives you an XP multiplier of 1.2, which may seem small, but it can be huge for XP farming methods as well as large XP amounts. The first time the Ender Dragon is slain on a world, it drops 12,000 XP. With the talisman, players would average a total of 1400 XP more. Slaying the Ender Dragon after resummoning yields 500 XP normally, but with the talisman, this would yield an average of 600 XP, the equivalent of killing 120 Endermen. Now that we can see the potential benefits to XP for Slime Fun Research, let's take a look at what we need to make it. So, of course, we can see the crafting recipe right here, but the total materials we're going to need to make it are this. We're going to need 62 nether wart, 8 gold dust, 3 glass panes, 8 obsidian, 1 emerald, 4 diamonds, 2 books, 64 ender pearls, and 8 XP levels. Now, the reason we're going to need those XP levels are to fill up our flasks of knowledge. So, our flasks of knowledge are right here in our magical gadget section right here. So, this is how we craft it. Takes 3 magical lumps and a glass pane for 8 flasks of knowledge. Now, we can see I have 41 levels. Every time I fill up a flask of knowledge, it's going to take a level away. Now, this flask of knowledge is the equivalent of a bottle of enchanting for regular purposes, but for crafting purposes, we're going to need these for slime fun. So just like always, we want to be filling up these flasks of knowledge when we have low XP numbers, not when we have 40 or 30 or even 20, because then we're wasting XP. Now, there are a plethora of ways to gain XP, and I'm not gonna cover them all, of course, but I do wanna take a closer look at one way that has become a bit more viable because of this talisman. Bottles of Enchanting. So, Bottles of Enchanting give an average of 7 XP each, ranging from 3 to 11. With the Talisman, however, this average is increased to 8.4, ranging from 6 to 22. While this may not seem like a lot, the difference is quite distinct. Without the Talisman, it takes an average of 199 bottles to get from level 0 to level 30. With the Talisman, however, it only takes 166. Over a half stack of bottles are saved with this Talisman, so the simple method of having a master level cleric, who has been cured from a zombie, with or without Hero of the Village to maximize discounts, allows you to get a bottle of enchanting for one emerald. Restocking twice per in-game day with 12 trades per restock, this allows you just over 200 XP per cleric villager per in-game day. This is the equivalent to 600 XP per villager per hour. 20 villagers, and now you have 12,000 XP per hour. Of course, this requires that you have a great emerald supply, and Fletchers are our best friend in Slime Fun before we automate emeralds. Of course, because we have these great stick trades and flint trades, and we get flint as a byproduct of our automatic dust generation, so we can just trade a bunch of these for our flint. Also, make sure when you're grinding out emeralds that you have Hero of the Village 5, preferably, so that you can get those crazy discounts, like eight sticks for one emerald. You're getting four times the number of emeralds here. And for those of you who don't know how to automate the process of getting Hero of the Village effects, I will be making a video on that very soon. One last thing about the talisman. This opens up a possibility to infinitely create XP by charging experience bottles and using them as level one from level zero costs seven XP, and you'll average 8.4 with the bottles. However, this is incredibly inefficient in both resources and time, but it's still worth noting in case of future updates which may shift the meta. Now, if you're wondering how we can industrialize villagers, emeralds, and XP to build massive wealth, stay tuned. Villagers and raids are my favorite mechanics, so expect some pretty cool stuff coming soon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and if you found it helpful, please subscribe. It's free, it takes two seconds, and it helps me out a ton. Thank you so much, and I will see you all next time.